Good afternoon. My name is Judy Chung, the Executive Director of Missionary Service. And thank you for joining us for our virtual blessing service for the 2020-2022 Global Mission Fellow US Tooth. Let us center ourselves and begin this worship by singing together, Be Thou My Vision. Jay and Grace Choi, our missionaries in residence, will lead us in singing. We invite you to join with your uh, mics muted by singing out loud at your places. Thank you. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be or as be me, save that thou art. Thou marvelous God, by thee or by night. Make him or sleep my presence, my light. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I ever with thee and thou in me, Lord. Thou and thou only first in Welcome. Welcome everybody to this blessing service 2020 class class of US2 Global Mission Fair. It's a special class of the pandemic. I met with uh, Will this morning and I said you are very important. You are carrying the torch from the full class of 2019 to the full class of 21. And you are also an example of how the church is still in mission, is not confined to the walls of the temple and the sanctuary, but church is where we follow God's mission in the communities, in the, on the campuses, in the universities, wherever you will be serving, that's where God is and where we find our mission. So welcome to this blessing service. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray together. Gracious, loving, amazing, extraordinary, and surprising God, our hearts overflow with joy as we gather to celebrate the lives of these servants. We rejoice with them in this important moment of their journey, and we call your eyes upon them for what lies ahead. They have come through the fire, have crossed many Jordans, and have made tough decisions, daring to believe in you as they answered your call to missionary service. So we say, thank you, God. Thank you, for you are the giver of all good, good gifts. You are the shepherd of the flock. You are the creator and sustainer. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. How beautiful, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of these women and men who bring the good news of deliverance and freedom, 
who proclaim peace to all creation, who bring good tidings from you to all the people, who say to the whole world, our God reigns. Thank you for this gift. Thank you for this promise of salvation. Thank you for these seeds of hope who go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The scripture reading for today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 1 to 17. I will be reading from the message translation. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world to go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end. Jesus knew that the Father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet. Jesus answered, You don't understand now what I am doing but it will be clear enough to you later. Peter persisted, you are not going to wash my feet ever. Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you cannot be part of what I am doing. Master, said Peter, not only my feet then, wash my hands, wash my head. Jesus said, if you've had a bath in the morning, you only need your feet washed now and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you understand, is holiness, not hygiene. After he had finished washing their feet, he took his robe, put it back on, and went back to his place at the table. Next slide. Then he said, do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master, and rightly so, that is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, wash your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you what I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. A servant is not ranked above his master. An employee does not give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. The word and example of Jesus Christ for all the people of God Thanks be to God. Greetings. My name is Hannah Hansen, and I get the incredible opportunity to serve as the Director of Young Adult Mission Service for Global Ministries. The Global Mission Fellow Program, specifically the US2 track, builds on a foundation that was set in 1951 when Methodist women began what was then the US2 program. I keep thinking for such a time as this. In 1951, when we think about what was happening in the United States, the difficulty with race relations, the involvement in overseas wars, where the church was, where a place for ministry was, 
urban versus rural, it was a difficult time to serve. And I can't imagine those boundaries that were crossed and appreciate so much the stories of our alumni that help us understand where our church was. As we look today, we see a lot of those same themes all these years later going on in our country. With a global pandemic on top of that, um, the work of mission and the call of what Jesus is asking us to understand as he told these disciples is so clearly represented in the seven individuals that we are about to present to you. We would not be able to do this program through Global Ministries if it was not for our affiliates that are around the country. When we came to our affiliate coordinators, not knowing what was happening and what was unfolding in March as more restrictions came in place because of COVID-19, they were doing the work. Ministry didn't stop. The needs of our communities didn't stop, as so many of you know. And so they said, of course, we need to still welcome these young adults. When are they coming? What are the plans? Of course, this work needs to continue. And so I am grateful that our model has changed to incorporate what are those local needs that we have partnerships with our affiliates in local places that understand what those needs are that are pushing our church to continue to show up and witness, even when other ministries have closed their doors or haven't operated. To find ways to act not out of fear, but out of the wholeness that Jesus calls to be possible. And so we have an incredible opportunity to be in partnership, not just with our affiliate coordinators, not just with our fellows, but all of you that are joining us today. In their call stories over and over again, our young adults have heard the voice of God through probably one of you that is helping bless them today. Through their campus ministries, through their pastors, through attending a conference, through a friend, through really difficult struggles. And so we enter into this ministry together. I will invite us to introduce our coordinators and they will introduce this class to you. Sonia, you're muted. Sorry. Good afternoon. My name is Sonia Broom, manager of US Missionaries. I would like to introduce affiliate coordinators Martin and Heidi from Florida Conference. Good afternoon. My name is Martine Marslin and I am from the Florida Conference and we are excited to welcome four Global Mission Fellows US 2s. They are Emily Autry, Caitlin Dino, Cherie Federley, and Magdalene Russo. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Emily Autry. I'm from the Arkansas Annual Conference. I'm serving as a coordinator at the Field the Table Initiative in the Florida Conference in Miami, Florida. And as I begin my service as a GMF, I am excited about making new friends, telling stories about mission in the local church, and growing in my faith and my discernment to ministry. Please pray for resilience and patience for me and for this special cohort during this amazing adventure we are about to um, embark on. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Caitlin Tino. I'm from the North Georgia Conference. I'll be serving as an administrative assistant, assistant with Justice for Our Neighbors in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, as a new Global Mission Fellow, I'm excited to join a new community and take up my cross here in St. Petersburg towards, alongside others towards justice. Please pray for my cohort in these next two years, um, as well as the migrant families that I'll be working alongside for their safety. Thank you. 
Good afternoon. My name is Sharif Betterly, and I'm from Port Huron, Michigan, and I'm part of the Michigan Conference. I'll be serving as a community organizer in Tampa, Florida. As I begin my service as a GMF, I am so excited to start working at Seminole Heights UMC, getting to make meaningful relationships with the members of the church and also growing spiritually with them. Please lift me up and my cohort as in prayers as I start this amazing journey. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Magdalene Russo. I am from the Louisiana Annual Conference. I am serving as a Children and Youth Director and Community Engagement Coordinator at McCabe United Methodist Church here in St. Petersburg, Florida. As I begin my service as a Global Mission Fellow, I'm feeling ecstatic to enter into a new community to serve and walk in love and justice alongside all of God's people and to build longer tables, not taller fences. Please pray for and with me as I begin my journey and that the kingdom of God will be in St. Petersburg and America as it is in heaven. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to introduce affiliate coordinator Lisa for a Michigan conference. Good afternoon. My name is Lisa Batten. Michigan conference is excited to welcome Emily Palm, and Michael William Bennett III to serve as GMF US 2s. Good afternoon. My name is Emily Palm. I'm from the Northern Illinois Conference, serving as a caseworker at the NOAA Project in Detroit, Michigan. As I begin my service as a Global Missions Fellow, I'm feeling ready to follow God's call as I serve those at the margins as a caseworker and helping to empower homeless and low-income individuals of Detroit. Please help pray for guidance and peace for me and my cohort as I enter this journey with them. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Michael Bennett. I am from the Florida Conference and I will be serving at the Wesley Foundation of Kalamazoo, Michigan. As I begin my service as a Global Mission Fellow, I am feeling excited about learning with the global church on how to do ministry in a COVID era world. Please play, pray for Wesley Foundations across our campuses and their leadership and for the future generation of the United Methodist Church. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to introduce Affiliate Coordinator Darlene for Philadelphia Affiliate, Philadelphia Conference. Good afternoon. My name is Darlene De Dominic, and Philadelphia is excited to welcome Natalie Buck as a GMF US2. Good afternoon. My name is Natalie Buck, and I am from the Dakotas Conference, serving as a community organizer and ministry associate at Arch Street UMC in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As I begin my service as a Global Mission Fellow, I'm excited to meet community leaders who are working for justice in Philadelphia and meet my neighbors who are facing housing and food insecurity. Please pray for me as I move into the neighborhood and meet my neighbors. Thank you. We receive this invitation to pray for you over your two years of service. All of those of you that are joining from wherever you are, celebrate with me this class of 2020 to 2022 Global Mission Fellow US2s. I invite you to share blessings with them in the chat if you are joining us on Facebook um, and that they will receive those, that you join with them mutually over this two years of service let them know your prayer requests, pray for them and with them, financially contribute to them. May we as a church show that we stand ready to follow and lead and support young adults in mission. And most importantly, to deal with the difficult challenges ahead of us, to build more resilient communities and listen to God's call in each of our lives that we may work together.
Thank you. I now invite Roland Fernandez, the General Secretary elect, to join us in offering a word of encouragement and also blessing all of us as we conclude this service. So join me as we pray for our GMF US 2s, especially in these challenging times that God may be with them in the two years of service. May the God of Agar and Sarah light your journey. May the God of Agar and Sarah light your, light your journey. May the risen Christ lead you to life. May the risen Christ lead you to life. May God's holy breath carry you forward now and forever. May God's holy breath carry you forward now and forever. Amen. Amen. In mission together, we will join our hands. In mission together, through our many lands, with our hearts you. Thank you.